Hey guys, it's Luron here and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video I'll be covering the stock market guys. I've been getting a lot of questions lately and people have been asking, Luron, is it a good time to invest in the stock market considering the market is at all time highs? And in this short video I'll be answering that specific question. Now since the March lows due to COVID-19 the market has crashed and also recovered as of today and it's at all-time highs right at the all-time highs since February earlier this year so if you're someone looking to place your next trade or your next investment and you're asking yourself should I buy now would the market continue running up higher or would the market reverse lower for another correction then this video you don't want to miss because I'll be breaking down the stock index the S&P 500 the Dow and I'll be looking at that critical VIX which is the volatility index or the fear factor that you need to consider in your next investment so stick around guys if you're new to the channel remember to subscribe smash that like button and leave me a comment below if you have any questions regarding investment trading or anything re related to this video in particular so stick around guys and we'll jump right into the charts where I explain everything to you piece by piece in a very summarized video so stick around guys Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Now we're looking at the S&P 500 index right now guys and as you can see back in uh, February we we're at all-time highs in the market. On the S&P we we're looking at 3400 just about there and we had the COVID-19 market crash which took us uh, all the way to March 23rd and we went down to 2225. Uh, just to show you guys a the perspective there we're looking at about 35 uh, percent market crash uh, due to COVID-19. Now 35 percent crash is usually typical of uh, what we've seen over uh, the past century in terms of what's the average market crash uh, length. So and this is one of the shortest crashes uh, we've had on record. Uh, this happened within a matter of, uh, let me see here, from that time we're looking at uh, 34 days the market took to crash 34 35 percent which is insane since then the market has recovered uh, back to its all-time highs so as you can see today is uh, August 21st and the market is sitting right there at all-time highs uh, if we zoom in a little closer here you'll see we're right in in that triangle guys the stock basically has um, this index has nowhere to run basically but either up are down this is a critical moment in the stock market that's why I wanted to do this quick short video to show you guys so if you're an investor you shouldn't be buying right now let them make let the market make a decision for you if the market breaks out of this triangle which is an ascending triangle then you want to get into the market on the short side because the market will correct itself if the market breaks the upside you want to make sure the market is testing this uh, resistance which will now turn support uh, once the market tests that and it confirms that it is support, then the market will go higher. That's when you want to invest in anything that you're considering investing in that is tied to the overall market. So right now you have to wait guys. Today, like I said, it's August 21st. Wait until the market tell, tells you exactly which direction it's going in. Now if the market pulls back outside of this triangle here and comes lower, the market is not going to crash again guys this was the bear market we're in a bull market right now which is the primary the primary trend right now is up so we can have a secondary trend which pulls back a little bit just as a small correction and then we can start back moving higher over the next few months but don't be fooled we're in a bull market guys that's the message i want to deliver today that we're in a bull market and the market is wouldn't be going anywhere but up but it can make a pullback maybe five ten percent and then go higher in, in the next few months so that's uh, what the S&P 500 chart is showing me right now if you look at the VIX which is the volatility index now as the market goes up the volatility index um, usually is supposed to come down um, right now I'm still looking at we're still looking at a 22.8 uh, VIX which is still high for the market being at all-time highs which tells me that there's still a lot of fear in the market so you want to, uh, when I say fear in the market, that's why the market is hesitant right near, right now for the past uh, at least week or two. You see the market is more or less flat within this triangle. So that's why we're looking at a VIX that is still fairly high. So 
as the market breaks out and go goes higher you can expect this VIX to fall even lower so keep an eye on the VIX as well as you make your investment decision now the um, Nasdaq 100 this index is making all-time highs this is the technology uh, base index and as you can see how all the Facebook the Tesla's all the big technology names you can think about makes up uh, the Nasdaq 100 index and you can see here in this uh, ascending this is not an ascending but this is a rising wedge it's breaking out of this rising wedge right there so this is bullish the technology sector this is the VOLQ which is the volatility index for the Nasdaq this one as well as the market goes higher we can expect this to continue to fall and then the Dow Jones lastly here is not yet at all-time highs as we had set back in February but it's moving there and it's respecting this trend line as you can see here we broke out of this uh, wedge and now we're holding at this support line you want to pay attention to this support line if you're doing your technical analysis we just want to make sure that the Dow isn't falling off of this uh, rising trend line uh, should maintain that line and go higher if it falls off this line then that's negative this would be the next uh, support line you can expect if the Dow falls off of this trend line it will fall and probably come and find support here before it goes higher so keep an eye on those things guys uh, I usually like to trade the SPY the SPY is basically an ETF that uh, mimics the S&P 500 and it will look just like the S&P 500 is looking like just that uh, it's more affordable for you to trade uh, and then just some other stocks I'm looking at I got position right now just as a disclaimer guys in Boeing Boeing just touched a key support level here so I bought some Boeing contract that expires in a couple of weeks and I also bought some long-term Boeing uh, stocks um, for the long term so Boeing is looking pretty good as a nice setup for a long for me uh, Facebook I don't have any position right now in Facebook it's basically stalling how uh, I don't know what it wants to do but it's at all-time highs and I don't want to touch that right now so that concludes this video guys I just want to give you guys a quick update as to what the market is doing what you should be looking for before you make your next trading decision and guys if you enjoyed this video please leave me a like comment below let me know if there's something in particular you'd like to talk about or any question you may have and smash that subscription button guys uh, that's the only way we can make the channel grow so I can continue to provide high quality content for trading investors. So until next time guys, we'll talk later, bye.